Hi, my name is Guillermo Mendoza with Impact Coaching Solutions. We are starting our new blog, but this time it's going to be a video blog. We think that it's a quick way to give you some tips and good recommendations instead of writing an article. We are still writing some articles and good useful information, but the idea of this uh, new video channel is that you can get in just uh, two or three minutes something useful from us. So let me start by t telling you that we talk mainly about coaching techniques, findings that we are getting from neuroscience that help us to be better leaders and better managers, and ideas from emotional intelligence and related topics. Our tagline is that we are accelerating leadership around the globe, turning managers into leaders. And everything that we do in terms of programs is related to that, on working with managers and working with people to help them be better leaders. So in this first uh, edition, I just want to let you know about what is coaching, because there is a lot of confusion in the market about coaching. The, uh, the word coaching is now a good marketing word. So many people are using the word coaching to promote themselves, even if they are consultants, mentors, or doing some other type of work. And it's important to clarify that coaching, it's a methodology of questions. The key idea in coaching is coming from uh, centuries and centuries ago when Socrates said that we all have our own answers. We just haven't asked the right question. So coaching is about that. Coaching is about creating good questions. We call them powerful questions that are going to create reflection and are going to help you to find your own answers. So a coach is not an advisor, he's not a consultant, he's not somebody that will share with you best practices or will tell you what to do. A coach is a person that is an expert on creating powerful questions so you find your own answers. I think that's a very first important clarification because sometimes if you hire a coach or if your company is working with coaches, sometimes we think that they are going to give us the answers or give us advice or, or bring some ideas. And that, that's not their function. That's not what coaching is. And the reason for that is because when somebody tells you what to do, that's their idea. But when you find yourself what to do, it's your idea. So the level of commitment, the level of conviction, and the level of power that you bring to make it happen and really make it successful is very different from when you get a recommendation. That's why coaching has become so successful, because when you find your own answers and you get a commitment and conviction to execute and get your results, you have a very different effect. So as I said, we are going to keep this to less than three minutes, and this is our first edition. I hope you like it, and we will keep bringing some interesting topics that will help you with your leadership and to be a better manager, a better leader, a better person. See you next time. Thank you.